Hello everyone, my name is Dan, and this is a tabletop review of the Walther P22. Uh, this is detailing some of the uh, pros and cons, uh, the ways that I see that this uh, weapon should be used, and uh, the people who should go out and buy this little pistol here. Uh, personally, I really enjoy having this pistol. It's a fun, economical way to go out to the range and just put a few rounds down range and just have a good time. Really not meant to be a uh, self-defense type pistol, but I think it's truly intended to be a uh, trainer uh, slash good old fashioned plinker. So uh, let's uh, get this cracked open. Uh, when you receive your P22, it comes in this nice little uh, hard case. Uh, has a foam cutout insert on the inside to protect your weapon. Now let's do a quick safety check. Uh, we're gonna drop the mag, and there's nothing inside of there. We're gonna do a visual inspection of the chamber, and that is empty there. And I'm also gonna physically inspect the chamber, and we are good to go. Since I have this out, let's uh, talk about a few of the features, uh, operational features of the P22. Now this is a uh, hammer-fired uh, 22. It uh, claims, I've read on some reports, it claims to have a decocker where that is not true. Uh, this is a safety, ambidextrous safety by the way, and this prevents the hammer from actually striking uh, the firing pin. So in order to decock you do have to pull the trigger. So uh, there we go there. Uh, it does feature a magazine disconnect. So with uh, out a magazine locked into the uh, pistol, it will not actuate the hammer. It fires in single and double action. Uh, I believe the single action pull is about four and a half pounds. I have not uh, actually measured that for accuracy and the double action pull is around 11 pounds. And once again, I have not actually measured that for accuracy, but uh, just from general feel, uh, that seems to be a fairly, fairly accurate assessment. Uh, the particular package that I have here is the uh, solid black, which uh, contains the laser. This is a, a Walther brand laser, which uh, fits perfectly onto the P22. Uh, gives it a very nice feel, uh, gives a little bit of extra weight at the end to balance it out, and it uh, gives it a cool kind of futuristic appeal to it uh, without going as uh, far as to being like uh, the Beretta Neo, uh, but uh, you know it's just definitely a uh, very good uh, weapon here. Very good feel. Uh, you have a, uh, as I mentioned, you have an ambidextrous safety for uh, good for lefties, ambidextrous shooters like myself and uh, everybody in general. The slide release is on the right hand only, for righties only, I should say on the left side. And this actually has a very interesting uh, mag release, it's a little lever that you depress. Uh, I do like it, it's a fun novel idea. I don't like it for a tactical situation because uh, with this uh, lever here, it really makes it impossible to keep your keep your gripping and change your magazine at the same time. With the way you grip your pistol prevents you from depressing this lever. So there is no way I can depress this lever without actually releasing my traditional pistol grip, articulating the manipulating the uh, lever and putting in a new magazine, then regripping. So that, that's a little bit of a uh, detraction for it, but you know, it's still a pretty uh, novel idea there. Your takedown lever is right here. Uh, you just simply pull that down in order to take it down. Uh, I will actually be doing a uh, further review of the take down, fill stripping, and maintenance of the P-22, so uh, look out for that particular video. It also only comes with m one magazine. It comes with the magazine that actually has the little grip extension to give you a little bit better grip for those of you with larger hands. Also comes with a replaceable back strap, uh, also for people with larger hands or smaller hands, and this actually works all excellently to uh, contour to the shape of your hand. has a very good feel, very good grip. 
and also you have replaceable front blades uh, to aid in elevation. It comes with three different uh, blades and then one blank blade that just gives it a nice smooth appearance over top. And you also get this little bag of goodies here which uh, contains your blades. Contains a little wrench for disassembly. You need that to remove the barrel or the uh, thread protector on the barrel. And you also have this very important little piece of uh, plastic here. This is a guide rod for your uh, recoil spring. When uh, you disassemble this, it's a little tricky to put the recoil spring back in, so this actually helps uh, tremendously in uh, reassembling your weapon. Now, first off, I want to say I truly enjoy this weapon. I think this is just one of the most uh, fun, entertaining 22s out on the market. Gives you a good feel, it's very small, uh, gives you a lot of good practice for uh, conceal and carry. But one of the downfalls of this weapon, which actually does go away in time, is that it is very ammunition sensitive. Uh, you have to fire the good stuff in this. Uh, it's not going to fire anything weak. Uh, anything under uh, 1,200 feet per second, you're going to have a lot of malfunctions in your first 300 rounds. But if you stick to uh, good high performance uh, ammunition, after about three or 400 rounds, this thing pretty much eats anything you feed it. Uh, I actually, during my break-in period, uh, used a few different rounds. Used a Winchester Super X. Uh, this has a uh, muzzle velocity of uh, 1300 feet per second. Had absolutely no misfires, no stove pipes, no type of malfunctions whatsoever using this. I also used the CCI Mini Mags. Uh, once again, 100% success using this. Uh, no malfunctions whatsoever, and uh, just really gave me an uh, outstanding uh, time at the range using this. Another round that I used were uh, CCI Stingers. Uh, got a little bit higher um, velocity here. This shoots at uh, 1600 uh, feet per second, and uh, once again, just awesome. Uh, awesome uh, performance. Uh, this gives you a little bit more of a kick when you're using the CCI Stingers. Gives you more of a recoil of a uh, larger caliber uh, weapon. But uh, I, I really enjoyed using these and this is uh, whenever I go to the range I at least try and shoot about a hundred rounds of these uh, whenever I go out just because it, it is a lot of fun shooting this particular round. And lastly a uh, good old, uh, federal target grade ammunition. Uh, fed through this flawlessly and uh, this is uh, what I typically feed through this. Uh, this particular brand of ammunition uh, makes the gun a little bit uh, dirtier but it does fire. Uh, you can fire easily three four hundred rounds without having to worry about cleaning or worrying about any malfunctions so definitely recommend this and that adds to the value of this gun. Uh, once you get it through that initial break-in period you can pick up bulk ammunition for uh, 22 easily. You can shoot all day for 20 bucks. So uh, you, you just can't beat that type of value. Now, as far as uh, the intended uses of this particular pistol, I see uh, this uh, in three different categories. Uh, first off, being as a tactical trainer for those of you who have other Walther pistols or even. Uh, H and K type pistols. The reason I say that is because of the mag release. Uh, if you have other Walthers uh, such as the Walther PK380, uh, the uh, PPK, you know the controls are essentially the same. Uh, th these are basically the same guns just chambered in different calibers. So uh, you're getting a lot of good practice time. If you're carrying those uh, particular pistols, this is your inexpensive way to practice. So I would definitely recommend getting this if you uh, have one of those particular pistols. Also, as far as H&Ks go, with the mag release, you're getting a lot of the same training benefits. Uh, the controls are a little bit different. Anybody familiar with H&Ks know that uh, the takedown is a little bit different, uh, different uh, location of the safeties as well. But overall, it gives you the same feel, uh, a similar feel, I should say, and uh, good value for practice. 
good value for training. Uh, the second type of user I envision using this is uh, the person that just truly enjoys shooting. If you just want to go out, spend a couple bucks, maybe an hour or two at the range, this is the, the gun for you because you can shoot all day, not have to take a mortgage out on your home and uh, just have a good time and that actually hones your skill if you have other self-defense type weapons. Granted the controls are going to be a little different so it won't add you in that muscle memory aspect but uh, it, it's definitely a good way to uh, go out and get some practice. And uh, lastly, uh, I see this as a practice device for those who uh, are new to the world of semi-autos and uh, those who uh, are uh, practicing for concealed and carry. The reason I say that is because uh, the way it operates. The slide, I'm going to remove the magazine here, the slide is very easy to manipulate. So for uh, people with weak hands, uh, for ladies, uh, for small framed individuals, you can rack this slide and manipulate this and operate this very easily. It's uh, light. It uh, is very comfortable, so it'll get you a lot of practice and it'll get a lot of people over that initial fear that they have of guns if they've never used it before or are just not familiar with semi-autos. So I definitely recommend that for uh, any type of novice. And also uh, another thing that I recommend this for is that there are some brands of uh, of uh, lower quality ammunition that will cause occasional malfunctions in this and that actually is a great training tool. Uh, you can mix up some of your high velocity stuff with uh, some of these uh, cheap and expensive rounds and uh, practice malfunction drills. So it really gets you into a good mindset of how to properly use a semi-auto. And uh, other than that, that, that's about it. And well, one last thing, uh, this does have adjustable sights, a uh, pretty good set of sights on it. Uh, you, you're going to get some good accuracy on it. Not night sights, just regular old contrast sights, but uh, contrast three dot sights. But hey, it gets the job done, gets you a lot of good practice. So uh, that, that's pretty much the P22 in a nutshell. Uh, I would encourage anybody that's a gun enthusiast or looking to get a uh, into the hobby of uh, pistol shooting uh, to pick this particular pistol up. It's a great investment. It's going to range between uh, 310 to uh, the $400 range depending on the options that you get and uh, it's just a good old-fashioned way to shoot. This is Dan and I hope uh, this tabletop review has helped you out. Uh, please uh, continue to watch the uh, future uh, reviews that I'll be posting and uh, you guys have a good day.